This thing ain't great at predicting the future. And if you're too young to know what this is, I feel sorry for you. Are SMBs any better at predicting their future, be it economic conditions or what they're gonna spend in marketing? We shall find out in this episode of the Local Marketing Minute. Corey's Local Marketing Minute is brought to you by iPublish Media. Increase new accounts and grow local ad revenue by delivering the types of campaign SMBs want to buy today. Learn more by visiting iPublishMedia.com or by emailing sales at iPublishMedia.com. And now, the shaman of local marketing, Corey Elliott. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the Local Marketing Minute. I want to say thank you to our new sponsor, iPublish Media. Well, I don't publish media. That's their name. Well, hopefully they don't regret their decision now. Okay, so we have a lot to get through in this minute, so we're going to move fast. So buckle up. Every couple of months, we ask our panel the same questions so we can trend the answers. And boy, it can reveal some things. We like to ask them what they think about the present economic condition as it pertains to running a small business. And what does the future hold? Is it going to get better? Is it going to get worse? Now, over time, you can lay these things on top of each other and understand how good they are at predicting the future. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, first we ask them about the current economic conditions. Specifically, how would you characterize the current economic situation in the U.S. for sustaining a small business? They could choose excellent, good, fair, poor. I left out the don't knows. Who cares? Then we asked them to think about the next six months. During the next six months, economic conditions for sustaining a small business in the U.S. will get better, be the same, get worse. Okay, let's go back in time to good old March 2020. Not a really great time. As you'd expect, 73% of SMBs agreed that it was a poor economic condition back in March 2020 to sustain a small business. Obviously, things were pretty grim back then. And we asked them to think about the next six months. So March till whenever, May, June, July. The next six months. Are things going to get better? Are they going to stay the same? Or are they going to get worse? 71% said they're going to get worse in the next six months. 73% said it's poor now. 71% said it's going to get worse. So let's go forward in time to August 2020, six months later. I think I said that. So did things actually get worse? Same there. Good went from 5 to 14%. Fair went from 21 to 36. Poor went down from 73% to 48%. Still not great, but a lot better than this was indicating. This time frame is connected to this. So again, in August, we said, okay, what about the next six months? Now we see a jump. 21% said it was going to get better. 46% said about the same. Now only 30% said it's going to get worse. So six months from August 2020 brings us to, ta-da, now. 1% saying it's excellent. Now 16% say it's good. 49% say it's fair. 33% say it's poor. This is a nice trim we like to see. And when we ask them about the next six months, from this point, six months out, here's what they said. 34% say it's going to stay the same. 20% say it's going to get worse. A year ago, things were dark, and they thought they were going to get worse. And though it's not back up to pre-pandemic standards, it is swinging better. There is optimism in the air. But what does this mean for the marketing plans? If only somebody would have asked that question. Just kidding. We also ask them, okay, thinking about the next six months, are you going to spend more, less, or the same as you did in the last six months? Here's what they said. Back in March 2020, remember? Dismal, right? 16% said they were going to spend more, 28% said they're going to spend the same, 52% said they're going to spend less. One out of two-ish. Now as we move forward to August, now half are going to spend the same, 20% are going to spend more, 27% is going to spend less. I know that doesn't add to 100, get off my back. And what about now? Well, same's jumped up to 61%, but more is up to 22% and less is down to 15%. In fact, this number right here, this is right around the pre-pandemic average. That number's always been bouncing around 8 to 15%. The more got as high as 37% way back in 2017, but it usually bops around 30%. So there's hope. Things are getting better. Slowly, but they'll get there. Now, keeping all this in mind, well, not this is a blank whiteboard, but keeping in mind what I just showed you, this last thing I want to share is pretty cool. We asked them an open-ended question. Didn't give them anything to choose from. They could write it in. What's on your mind related to advertising? And that's my picture of a brain. Top four answers on the board. Family Feud. We'll go backwards. Hopefully I've spaced it out right. Number four thing on their mind. Digital advertising. Changing their media mix. Isn't that interesting? Planning challenges. Trying to understand what's going to come next. And the number one thing on their mind? Cost containment. Not surprising. So as advertisers look at the next six months, they're getting more and more optimistic, slowly but surely. It's taken a while. We're not quite back to pre-pandemic optimism, but we're a heck of a lot better than March 2020. And these are the four things on their mind. Cost containment, planning challenges, changing their media mix, and digital advertising. This is a pretty nice wave to ride to go talk to an advertiser right now, especially the ones that are feeling a little bit more optimistic than they did a year ago. They might be willing to try some stuff. Well, at least that's what I think. That'll do it for this minute. Am I a very handsome man? 
piece of shit. You've been watching Corey's Local Marketing Minute, sponsored by our friends at iPublish Media. Learn more at iPublishMedia.com. And if a few minutes with Corey isn't enough, you can hear more of his insights on the Local Marketing Trends podcast. Just look for the podcast link on BorellAssociates.com.